Hey, um, welcome to the tutorial on how to downgrade your iPhone 3G 4.0 firmware to 3.1.2 firmware or 3.1.3 firmware. Okay, so first you will need an iPhone 3G, which you must have, obviously. And another thing you will need is uh, firmware, your iPhone's firmware. Um, you will go to felixbruns.de slash iPod slash firmware and I'll provide that link in the video description down below and once you do you get to the website um, you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna see here um, all the firmwares and my phone is an iPhone 3G and I want to um, downgrade to iPhone 3G 3.1.2 firmware as you can see there that's 3.1.2 firmware and here you press the download button Mine's, I already downloaded mine so I'm good to go and once it's done downloading, um, put them into your desktop, okay? Your desktop, desktop, desktop. So it's right here, my desktop. This is right there. As you can see, it's right there. And I drag it there. Okay, so then, after that, you're going to iTunes. This isn't iTunes, obviously, because if I go to iTunes, um, it will show my phone number. And yeah, I don't want nobody to know my phone number. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, so um, there's the restore button. You're going to press shift on your keyboard and press restore at the same time. And you're going to select your firmware, which is should look like this. And make sure that's the one that you downloaded. Mine says iPhone one slash comma two. Um, underline 3.17C144 restore blah, okay and um, you it's gonna start restoring okay um, and y as you can see here it says 3.1.2 that's because um, just a while ago I it was 4.0 and I downgraded it so it does work so once you restore it your iPhone your iTunes will do its work but then just before it fully restores, you're gonna get this error. This stupid error. Um, you're gonna get this error, um, 1015. And it's gonna say, boom, the iPhone cannot be restored. An unknown error occurred, 1015. You're gonna click OK and then close iTunes. Okay? And um, once you've done that, you're going back to um, your browser and type in blackrain.com. And once you click on blackrain.com, you're going to see this guy, and there's a bunch of iPhones there. And then in the bottom, you will see uh, download for Windows and download for Mac. My uh, computer, I have, a win have Windows, so I'm going to click Windows. And once you click on it, right away, it's going to say to save. And right there, you save it. Now, we're going to show in folder, and we're going to drag that to the desktop. Okay? Um, so let's drag that there. So it's right there, okay? Now, once it's there, you're gonna wanna open it, okay? So once you click on it, okay, you click on run, but then you get this error. This application has failed to start because ASL.dll was not found. Reinstalling the application mis may fix this problem. It does not fix your problem. And once you press OK, you're going to see this, make it rain, will pop out. Well, if you click on it, it's not going to work. It's going to say it has stopped working. You're going to close the program. Now, there's a way to fix that. There's no downloads needed, nothing else. Just go to Computer and go to um, HPCC, whatever your drive is. Mine is HPC drive. And then you're going to go to Program Files. Then you're going to go all the way down to it where it says common files. Then you're going to go to Apple. Then you're going to go to Apple application support folder. And here you see ASL.dll. As you can see here, you'll see black rain. When you go to yours, you're not going to see that. Let me just erase it so I can do it all over again, guys. Yes. Okay, so there it is. This is how it's supposed to look in your computer. You're going to see the ASL.dll. Okay, and you see this black rain where you dragged it to your desktop. You're going to right click on it and then go to 
cut. Now you're going to go back to the folder and then you're going to paste. Paste, 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 God, paste. Alright, so then you click on paste. Then it's going to say you'll need to provide administrative permission to move to this folder. You press continue, continue again, and then it will move to the folder. As you can see, it's right there. Now we're going to right click on it again. And we're going to click create shortcut. And then it says Windows cannot create a shortcut here. Do you want the shortcut to be placed on the desktop instead? You click yes. And then it should be in your desktop okay there's the shortcut alright once you open it you click run again and make it rain no errors and once you click on make it rain it'll say waiting for device which will wait for your iPhone device and it will jailbreak it and as you can see here no um, mistakes no um, stopped working it still works just need to plug in my iPhone but I have it disconnected in case it jailbreaks my iPhone again which I do not want that to happen and once you've done that, you're going to see a little slide show of, um, of what to do after you jailbreak it. And um, if once you get the iTunes, uh, the iTunes error, this error, you're, you're going to notice that your iPhone is going to be in recovery mode. Which means that there's a, a picture of iTunes and then it's going to be a big USB cable. Do not worry. Once you um, use Black Rain it will take it off and remove it okay and it will be jailbroken on 3.1.2 firmware or 3.1.3 firmware whatever firmware you downloaded on um, Felix Brun's website okay um, and yeah it would just be jailbroken unlocked and um, on 3.1.2 or 3.1.3 firmware and um, I'm going to show you also how to unlock in the slideshow. So, enjoy. Hello, so welcome to the slideshow part of the video. And once Black Rain has installed, you know, finished jailbreaking it, you're going to see a Black Rain app on your iPhone. You're going to open the Black Rain app. Once you do that, you're going to see the Cydia. Install the Cydia only and make sure you have Wi Fi. Then open Cydia when it's done installing. You should see the Cydia app on your iPhone springboard. Open it. Then go to manage and then sources. Then you're going to click edit on the top right corner. Then you're going to click add on the left corner. On the top left corner. Then you're going to add the source. Ripple666.ultrasnow.com and add source. Then you, once it's done, click on the source that you added. Then you're going to install Ultra Snow. And before you install it, um, insert your SIM card that you want to use. Then when it's done downloading, your iPhone will reboot and it will be unlocked. As you see there on the top left corner, there's T-Mobile. And my version is 3.1.2 firmware. Thanks for watching.